our job as Green Planet 21 Utility Service is to work with the telephone companies to help them transition from their copper plant, yesterday's technology, to the fiber networks. And it takes, they have to run parallel networks when they're doing it. So they have a op copper network operating simultaneously with the growing fiber network. And then they slowly have to transition from that copper to the fiber. We have our, this is my print. This one never leaves this table. And when the guys come here and they grab their sheets for the day, I have them green line half. That way I know where they're at. They're not finished with it. But when they finish, they'll go ahead and green line it out, date it, and put their name on it. Every morning we come here, our lock in here, and then we'll come and grab one, cut seat, and then we, I see it, and I sit here and I copy free. One for me and my partner, and one for the CEO deck. As you thumb through this, you'll see that there's cut sheets just about everywhere. So those have been completed and stuck in there. And then when it's done, when they do the last green line, I can take that and go ahead and scan it up on the little front of the road. And come back, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just go all good through it. All right, be safe, guys. Okay. All right. We'll call you, Buster. This is what we call the line equipment side of the frame. This is where the dial tone is actually generated. And then these jumper wires come out of here and run over to the cable heads where the guys are doing the actual throws to our new support cables. In the morning, we come in, the first thing we do, we got our cut sheet. Verify it cut sheet it. Here, here. And then we verify that what is on the cut sheet is also what is on the block. So we go through and we ID the pair. Thank you for calling SDI. Our system indicates we're calling from 805938 Okay. So we ID the pair and we confirm that what's on the cut sheet is the telephone number that we got here is this actual thing that is on the cut sheet. When we are through, we go through all the pairs that are on the block. Because sometimes what happens is that the assignment may give us what they think is on the assigned, but we found more pairs here than what's there. So we adjust the record, or update the record. So once we're finished identifying the old, the existing, see what's there, we identify it, we verify the new to make sure that the new pairs are in good condition because we cannot transfer a good working pair to a pair that is bad. Your phone will not work or your internet will not work. So we got to make sure that the pair is good. If the assignment assigned a pair, we test it and it's not good, we got to find a good pair and we change that pair and update the records. As we throw these jumpers to whatever support cable we're moving them to, yeah. we put these glass tapes here to let all the phone company technicians know that this is no longer available. And then we make copies of those sheets that we were talking about this morning, and we leave them here the whole time the job's going on. That way, if they come here and they their, their system shows that their pair works here, well, when they see this, they know to go get our cut sheets, and then they can figure out where we actually moved it to. Good. See you. Okay. That one is good. Okay, good. So we test it, and he's saying the pair is good. We test for any condition on the pair. Okay. Short. Okay. Short. Okay. Okay. Uh, 55. 55. Yeah. Shorts. Here. Yep. Okay. Good. Yeah, we just finished that. We got it. Yeah. 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 So the thing that we're doing right now is 29. Three. Yeah, 2954, 2953, 2955, okay. The blue jumpers indicate DSL uh -huh. or some kind of uh, internet lines. Just looking at the lines, sometimes there are other lines here that we do not know for sure 
whether it's working, a working DSL, or even sometimes what they do, they run, they put the DSL on some of the red lines. We do not know for sure. So what we have, this equipment is called a T-bug. So what we do, we turn it on and we go through. Hear this line? So this is a working DSL. So we go through and we identify the other group because those are our priorities. We cannot afford to let a DSL customer be out of service. That's data, the business line most of all. The one, right? Yes. Yes. Pull. Pull. Yes, Bo, we're done. He's gonna, yes, he's gonna test the new peer to make sure that the, the transfer is good. And to ensure that the number that was on the original peer is the same number on the new peer. Because error can occur. We could put a different number on, the, on that peer by mistake. And therefore, we want to make sure that the number we was on the old peer is on the new. He's going to verify out there as well to say, okay. And he'll tell me, okay, we're good. And we move on to the next peer. So he's testing that right now. Okay, bring it over. This is the old one? Yep. Okay. 211? Yep, 211. Okay. Same one. Well, the telephone line Okay. Put it on 211. I'm going to put my little tools here, special tool. Bunch it down. Same as that one. Finish. Pull it out. Hold on. Okay. There you go. You got it? We, we detected here to make sure the CO ran it properly. So the right number comes up. Right, so you're both always testing back and forth between yeah. here and the office. In the office. Yeah. And also now, we're going back into the port line, just the telephone line. This one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. When we finish, we're going to start with this one right here right now, me and John. When we got it, we're going to cross it out, meaning it's done. Verify the F2 and things like that. That's what we're doing right now. What it is, you can see the X's on this cable. Mm -hmm. We're actually removing cable going this way, but we're not removing cable coming to this cross box, which is right here. But the counts in the cable we're removing are coming down here, so we have to cut those dead in the box, and engineering shows us that. Well, we take these counts and we throw them into these other counts that are staying in the box. That's what we call LSTs, line station transfers at the cross box. The main goal of every telco or utility, uh, communications operation is to move everything into the 21st century fiber world and eliminate running two parallel networks, one copper, one fiber. So our focus is to help them make that transition.